Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 23rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to begin our discussion on numeric functions and uh, we're probably going to have you know at least a couple of tutorials on numeric functions because there are so many of them and I'm not going to discuss all but I'm going to discuss uh, you know the functions that I use frequently and the ones that I consider uh, important in the language and of course if, if you want to you know have a look at the entire list of numeric functions and you can refer to the documentation that comes along with python but uh, as i said in this course we're going to have a look at a few maybe you know 10 or 15 functions uh, the ones that are really important so the first function that we're going to check out is the absolute function and in python we call it abs and the absolute function returns the distance of a number from zero Right? So if you want to find out the absolute value of 5, you type in abs and within parentheses, you pass the number 5 as an argument. When I press the enter key, I see the answer as 5. When I use the absolute function to check out the you know, absolute value of minus 5, I still see the result as 5. And that is because the numbers 5 and minus 5 are at the same distance from the number 0. Right, so whereas to get to the number 5, you have to travel in the right direction on the number line. Uh, you know, to get to the number minus 5, you have to travel in the opposite direction or the left direction on the number line. But in both cases, you have to travel the same amount of distance, right? So they both are at the same distance from 0 and that is why the absolute value of both 5 and minus 5 is the same and that's 5, right? The next function that we're going to check out is the seal function or the sealing function and, uh, you know, to use this function, you have to import the math module. And we haven't, you know, yet spoken about modules in this course and I'm going to record a separate tutorial on modules in which we'll talk about modules in detail. But for the time being, just know that a module is something, it's, it's like a library that you have to import to have access to the functions that are there in the module, right? So the way you import a module in Python is by using the import statement. So you type in import. For, and you know follow that up with a space and then the name of the module that you want to import so in this case I want to import the math module so I'll simply type in math press the enter key and now I can use all the functions in the math module right so we're going to check out the seal function now and to use it I'll type in the name of the module first which is math follow that up with a dot operator or the period and then the name of the function which is seal right c-e-i-l that is and uh, the ceiling function basically returns you know the next higher integer so if i pass in 35.74 as an argument to this function then i'll get 36 as the answer because the next higher integer to 35.74 is uh, 36 and if you use the seal function with uh, you know uh, let's say a negative number like minus 35.74 then you're not going to get minus 36 because that's not the next higher integer you know the next higher integer for minus 35.74 is uh, you know uh, is, is minus 35 right because minus 35 is greater in value than minus 36 it's less negative and it's more positive right so i hope that makes sense the next function that uh, we're going to check out is the exp function and the exp function returns the exponent of a number that's passed as an argument to it. And again, you have to use the math module for this, but since we've imported it once in this shell session, we won't have to import the module again. But again, to use uh, you know, uh, the, the function, we'll have to type in the name of the module first, which is math, then the dot operator. And uh, you know, if I simply check out the value of uh, you know, the exponent, uh, or the e, I don't know what it's really called. I guess people call it the exponent. If I check out the value of that, you know that's 2.7182, and this is a constant in Python, and you can check out its value, you know, just the way I typed. And uh, you know, if you want to calculate the power of uh, you know this raised to something, then you can use the exp function. So if let's say I want to calculate the power of e raised to the power seven, then I type in you know, uh, math.exp and then within parentheses, I'll just pass in the number seven as an argument. So the result is 1096.633. And I can, you know, uh, confirm that by typing in math.e and then the exponentiation operator, which is the double asterisk symbol. And if I pass in seven as the power, I get the same thing, which is 1096.633, 15842, blah, 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 right? 
So that's about the maths.exp uh, method. The next function that we're going to check out is the floor method. And the floor method, you know, unlike the ceiling method, it returns the largest integer that is not greater than the number passes an argument, right? So it returns the next lower integer value, right? And again, you require the math module for it. So I'll type in math dot floor and within parentheses, I'll type in a number like 16.94. So what is going to be the value for this? It's going to be 16, right? And uh, if you use the floor method with a negative number, let's say you use it with minus 16.94, you know, you will get minus 17 because this is the next lower number from uh, minus 16.94. It's more negative and less positive. The last method that we're going to check out in this tutorial is the SQRT or the square root function in Python. And, uh, you know, again, to use this function, you need to import the math module. So you know, the function, as the name suggests, is used to calculate square roots of numbers. So if, uh, suppose you want to find out the square root of 25, you type in math.sqrt, and then within parentheses, you type in the number of which, uh, of the, you know, the square root of which you wish to find. If I want to find out the square root of 25, I'll pass in 25, and there you go, I see the result as 5.0. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll uh, continue our discussion on numeric functions. We'll check out a few more and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.